I, um, I'll say that uh, I'm grateful to uh, the people that helped me to uh, try and sort all this out. I didn't realise how difficult a job it would be to write a speech for my uh, daughter. <coughs> but uh, I've got great friends around me and they have helped me a great deal. Um, but I've also got other people that found me as well. I've got no end of advice telling me what to do and how to do it. Uh, and I, I had a, a lovely phone call actually um, and it went, it went something like this. Every, um, when I was in trouble, everybody calls me Bobby. Yeah, everybody, you know, normally people just say, Bob this, Bob that, but when I'm in trouble, it's Bobby. Yeah, I mean, my mother used to say it to me about four to five times a day. Um, but I had this telephone call, Bobby, and all straight away I thought to myself, oh, I'm in trouble here. Have you sorted your speech out? No. Get on that bloody computer, find a speech, and talk to the wall. And I thought well, that, that was great advice. Anyway. <laughs> that. <laughs> but it, but it, was, uh, it was meant in a nice, endearing way. Of course. <laughs> anyway, uh, I did manage to cobble something together, one way or another. <coughs> Don't know how. Put your glasses on. Got my glasses on. All right. <laughs> Down. 1984 was the year that impressed on the minds of every British schoolboy in the early 70s. The book featured Animal Farm on the old level English language syllabus. And although I didn't do all levels, I looked up to the year with trepidation. George Orwell's futuristic nightmare threatened the world where we were no longer in control of our lives. Everything would fall to the authoritarian control of the governing power called Big Brother. I remember the real 1984. We started very happy. But gradually things deteriorated. Winds lingered, winters lingered on and on. Things got worse. And chilly winds blew colder through springtime. <laughs> Neil Kinnock switched off the lights for British socialism and Mrs. Thatcher resurfaced like a ghost of Christmas. <coughs> Christmas past, sorry. Continued on her way for another five weird years. There were new, year, new waves of social unrest, political uncertainty, minor strike, e economic anxiety, and British Leyland car and the passing of British Leyland cars. <laughs> so big man. So far. <laughs> yes, yes, it's going well. Going well. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Go on, Albert. <laughs> <laughs> So-called new romantic music blighted the music industry with a background and <laughs> dreary melodies at the sounding of. The death disco for Johnny Rotten and the punk rockers. Chicken Song got to number one. <laughs> and Elvis Presley had already been dead for seven years. Shame. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but uh, this is a real tongue twister. But amidst such extended wretched winter weariness, oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> beneath darkening, darkening thunderclouds and downheartedness and deep depression, one shaft, one ray of light, one bright dawning realisation of sunshine broke through the clouds and lifted my body and soul to the heavens proclaiming a new day. Oh. How am I doing? Yes, go on. <laughs> Take your time. Pace yourself. I've got to check. Pace yourself. You can yourself. hear me in the back, can't you? I want that post moving. Pace yourself. Can you all see me? Yeah, OK. Take your time. Pace yourself. Yeah. Have you finished yet? You're not the first. Second. One ray of sunshine. No. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, in the month of July 1984, my life was worth living again. I'd set my heart on, on it and finally erupted into my life. And the world, my world changed forever. Yes, my dear friends, brothers, sisters, guests, family, 
I can say this without shame or embarrassment or inhibition. Are you taping me? No. <laughs> <laughs> July 1984, for in July 1984, it was 84, I finally obtained the thing I had set my heart on and wanted so much. It was the mo moment I finally purchased a green Cortina estate. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Mark IV, with a vinyl roof, plastic seats, and a tow bar. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I love that car. <laughs> but it was but it was a love that was quickly eclipsed by something much more special. Oh <laughs> the jag. She always <laughs> she always laughs at my joke. <laughs> Jokes, I love her. As I drove Lorda home from the hospital, <clears throat> I thought to myself, I am finally like all of the men. Knackered. When I arrived home. <laughs> <laughs> When I arrived home, one of my old pals was already waiting for me at the house. He looked at the car, he looked at the back. See what I've got in the back? Nothing changes. The sun was shining, but it seemed somehow as if the sun was shining upwards out of a little being lying gently in a carry cot, staring upwards was the most unforgettable, unforgettable, piercing, bluest of blue aquamarine. You know, <laughs> Eyes. I got that. <laughs> Unblinking amidst little wisps of blonde hair. A personality was already gazing out confidently from the shining round face, just two days old. Celtic skin, so pure, it seemed <laughs> transparent. Transfixing the mystery. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> Trans fixed the mystery, he started back and then he, he spoke, he interrupted the silence of the moment. That looks like it's going to be a right bundle of bloody trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but he was talking about the car. <laughs> you never did like that, Cortina. In the end, he let us down and he had to go. But ladies and gentlemen, the one person. <laughs> the one person. Go on, Albert, have a drink. It will never let you down. Just sit in here in this room. And she's fondly known by many of her children's friends, uh, her friends' children, rather, <laughs> <laughs> as Auntie Lolo. Yes? I remember that. I hope that they're not as mischievous as she was as a child. I'll teach them. She could never hide a naughtiness from me, though. It was always a, a smile that would give it all away. And she was known by her Uncle Gordon as Naughty Law. It's a face that gave it all away. Uh, and so, Rob, brace yourself for the mysterious <laughs> smile that will inevitably crop up. But at the end of the day, it's always endearing. So I want you all to stand down, fill your glasses, charge the money to the best man, <coughs> and, go, and give a chance to my much beloved daughter. She's the sunshine of my life. Joy my heart, my dreams come true. You're supposed to sing I that have bit. always been a bigger bundle of trouble to her than she is to me, and I intend to continue in just the same way. <laughs> so Rob, She's all yours. Thank you, Bob. And I'm your new dad. Yay! <laughs> yeah! To Laura. Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs>